Hello guys and this is the Russian Genius and in this video I will be showing you a one-handed fan which looks something like this. So in my previous tutorial I made a tutorial on this Fleuris and some people they still asked how do you do the one-handed fan so here is going to be the tutorial for that there are a couple of different one-handed fans that you can do there is of course this one and all of these fans they can be done with the entire deck once you get better at doing it there is also this fan which looks something like this but I'm going to be focusing on this one in this tutorial and the last one-handed fan that I know of is actually this one which I have seen some people do this fan is quite simple to do and I will also teach you how to close it with one hand so let's move on to the tutorial so first you're going to riffle about half ways as I said you are of course able to do it with with the entire deck but I prefer to do it with half of the deck so here is how this is done you're going to hold the packet like this this is exactly the same as the riffle shuffle so you hold the packet just like this as you can see my index finger is going to be right here on the side my middle finger and index they are at the top and my pinky is on the other side the packet needs to be close to the fingertips and then when doing the fan it will get a little bit easier so once the position is correct now your thumb is going to go all the way down here to the bottom so if you're doing it with the left hand then your thumb is going to go all the way down to the right corner and if you're doing it with the right hand then the thumb is going to go all the way down to the left bottom corner I'm using out of focus by the way once your finger is at the corner then your index finger and pinky finger they're going to go on the front of the card so just like this and then my thumb is going to go up it's going to pull the packets forward and the other fingers behind the deck they're going to pull the packets backwards and when you do it in speed then here's how it looks like and just like that so you need to have the speed under control and the tempo once again let me try to do it with this hand I don't practice it with this hand as often but that's basically how it looks like also whenever I do this I like to dribble and then do the fan it looks a little bit nicer when you dribble and then do the fan and then do what can what kind of flourish you want to do after that in slower speed it looks something like this my thumb is going upwards and my fingers beneath are going downwards so once again quite simple just like this the packet is close to the fingertips and then I do the move just like that and if you want you can do something like this whatever you want to do to make it look a little bit nicer and yeah this move is indeed a little bit nice you can also do something like that if that's what you want so there are a lot of combinations that you can do with the fan here's how you close the fan with one hand just like that so when I got started into a card magic and then I was trying to learn the fan and I remember learning to close it with one hand that was the most difficult thing so here is what I kinda learned few months after I got started so you do it like this once you have done the fan your fingers are kinda in this position I'm gonna do it with both hands so you are in this position and you're holding it like this and now you are going to reverse that action 
So, just like that. And I'm not only reversing, but also I'm putting my pinky finger at the bottom of the deck. So here's what I mean. As you can see, I'm right here. And look at my pinky. My pinky is going to go all the way at the bottom. And then I'm using gravity to actually make sure that it falls down and then I square it up by using that one hand. So as you can see my pinky goes down and then I rotate the deck just like this and then with gravity it falls down onto the pinky and then I'm able to square it up and place it on the deck. Here's how it looks like with this hand. As I said, I don't practice with this hand, but it's supposed to look like this. So pinky, and then you square it up, and since I'm holding the deck in mechanics grip, then you can either place it on top, or you can twist it around, which I like to do, and also a lot of other people. So that is it, it's quite simple to do, and here is how this uh, twisting action actually works. So once I've squared it up, I'm simply going to go palm down, and square it up, and my fingers are doing this. So that's all I wanted to show you, thank you guys really much for watching and I hope that you enjoy this tutorial on this fan. If you want to learn how to do this fan then make sure to check out the link in the description. And so yeah, that's all I wanted to show you, thank you guys really much for watching, make sure to like and comment and subscribe. And also I don't practice flourishing too much but still I do practice it if I am really bored at some places but still it's not something I try to be super good at but still I do practice it uh, sometimes so yes thank you guys really much for watching make sure to like and comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video